The state law enforcement division has identified the suspect involved in last night's officer involved shooting in West Ashley. 42 year old Christopher Leon Hampton has been charged with attempted murder and possession of a weapon during a violent crime. He's been denied bond and is currently being held at the Al Cannon Detention Center. Anna Harris joins us live from the Charleston Police Department headquarters. A CPD officer last night and was injured in that incident. What are the latest details from the state law enforcement division? Yes, Robin and police say Christopher Leon Hampton led officers on a foot pursuit last night before he was arrested outside the home team barbecue on Ashley River Road. But here's a little bit about what we do know about what happened before that. Around 7 o'clock last night, Charleston police say they responded in the area of the Walgreens on Old Town Road in reference to a suspicious person. When Hampton fled the scene, CPD officer Taylor Schwartz chased him. Police say Hampton then dropped a revolver and stopped to pick it up, leading the officer to shoot him in the shoulder and Hampton fired back. Hampton was treated for a gunshot wound at the hospital and has since been released. Swartz also went to the hospital for a hand injury and was not shot. He has been released from the hospital as well. CPD explains it is standard protocol to call the state law enforcement division during these kinds of incidents because they don't want any sort of influence on the investigation when one of their own is involved. As this process moves forward, Solicitor Wilson in, in the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division will give any further updates in, in reference to this incident, and they will ultimately let us know if there's anything that, that they find criminal in nature about this incident, and that will come directly from them going forward. SLED says this is the third officer involved shooting across the entire state so far this year in the first involving Charleston police. SLED says although they have made an arrest, this investigation is still ongoing. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.